This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. Well, welcome back everyone. We've got a few clouds headed through Rochester as we speak, but they are continuing to break apart. We're finally getting some sunshine to beam on through. It'll start feeling a little warmer in Rochester in due time. Meanwhile, in Mason City, we've had a lot more of that sunshine over the course of the last several hours, and therefore it's a little warmer. We're sitting at around 69 degrees in Mason City. Meanwhile, we're in the low 30s in Rochester. So regardless, I don't think a hoodie is a bad idea, maybe a light jacket. But as we get later into the day, you might be able to take the hoodie off and maybe be a little more comfortable as you're walking around in just a short sleeve shirt. I did add the umbrella here if you're headed out the door because we are still seeing a few sprinkles here or there, especially where we we do have a little more of the cloud cover. We also have some chances coming into the afternoon as a cold front begins to push some energy our way. We'll touch on that in just a moment, though. Here are the current temperatures. I mentioned a little warmer in Mason City right where we were this time yesterday. Meanwhile, in Rochester, we're about four degrees cooler. But look even further to the north, Minneapolis, that's a 10 degree drop from where we were this time yesterday. Again, a lot of it has to do with the fact that we've seen a little bit more of the cloud cover and we're also dealing with an incoming cold front. Over the next few hours, temperatures are expected to rise, especially for those of us who are getting a little more of the sunshine here for the afternoon, but not by too much. It will be another below average day for most of us across the area as temperatures for some do struggle to make it to that 70 degree mark, kind of an average around the area because as we've seen, Mason City has already beaten that currently at 69 degrees. As for the isolated showers, we all see that chance as we get later into the day. Satellite and radar are already picking up on a few leftover sprinkles. I'm going to zoom into some of these right now to show that mainly where we're seeing some rain actually falling would be in some of these more darker green areas. So just south of Vernon Springs, kind of moving through Kalmar as we speak. Meanwhile, I'm watching this little bubble develop very quickly just north of Cass and kind of heading towards Rochester again maybe a few sprinkles. They're moving very quickly. We're not talking any great, uh, any dilutions of a rainfall. Here we have the cold front I mentioned. So this is gonna do multiple things. One, it will kick up that chance for some showers and storms as we hit the afternoon. So I'll push time forward here on Sky Tracker 3. This is that little bubble it's picking up right now that was just two the west here of Rochester as we saw. So kind of moving on as we go through the next hour. Then as that front continues to pass through, easily seen by the way the winds are coming in, we'll start to see a little bit more of that chance roll through. We're talking scattered showers here or there, maybe a storm or two. The chances are fairly low and they don't last very long. By 4 p.m., most of the clouds are gone. We have northern winds back in play and that'll help cool us down tonight. As for the rain chances, again, we do have that low chance today, but then things dry out pretty nicely for tonight, Wednesday and Thursday. Our next chance for rain does start to come as we get into Friday. Something to keep in mind if you want to head out there for some apple picking. Wednesday, Thursday going to be perfect. Look at the difference in temperatures, though. Thursday going to be a bit of a warm one as we get back above average. By Friday, the chances for rain come through, but we have some de decent temperatures. And here in the seven day forecast, where the weekend is always in view. Nick, what a roller coaster we have here. I showed off the fact that Wednesday will bring back temperatures that are just slightly below the 70s. Then we pop into the 80s and then we start going back down. We are definitely in roller coaster season and I'm all here for it. So definitely you wanna bring out the big tote that has some of the jackets and things like that, but don't pack away the shorts and the short sleeve shirts quite yet because pretty much every day it's just going to be a mishmash. Exactly. That's <laughs> that's why it's so much fun to be a meteorologist during these transition periods because yeah, one day we might be 80, one day we might be 60. Just be ready. Fall, summer, fall, summer. Just can't make up its mind. <laughs> All over the place. All right, thank you, Sarah. Of course.